Hey YouTube! Today I'm going to teach you how to complete the last layer of the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Okay, so um, I'm not really going to go over what a good um, one looks like or what a bad looks one looks like. Because, um, well, they're basically like either solved or unsolved. So, um, like, I don't think I sh should really need to go, um, like, in detail with that. And if you haven't noticed already, I got a new mat. If you haven't seen my unboxing video of the stack mat, make sure you check it out right here. I also got a new stack mat timer, which is super cool. Okay, anyways. So, for this video, there's three algorithms. But, um, the first one is the longest, but the second and third one are basically like the same exact thing, just two moves different. So, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna go scramble this, finish this first two layers, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, after you finish the yellow layer, what you wanna do is look for what's called headlights. What headlights are is, so, when you see two um of the same colors in the same um phase so like the in the same corners i should say so these are headlights because this is green and this is green and but the middle ones could be the same but they don't have to be so so like that is those are headlights but that isn't because that is that's blue but that's not blue this and these are not headlights because this is um orange and this is red neither are these because the this is blue and this is red but these are so what you want to do and as usual i'll have the algorithms right here so um so the first algorithm is when you get the headlights Make sure it's in the back, not facing you. So, like, not here, not here, here, but here. And do this algorithm. So, R inverted, F, R inverted, B2, R, F inverted, R inverted, B2, and R2. That is a really long algorithm, but you just, um, you'll probably get used to it. And then you'll get something like one solved side or in three um three headlights so i'll tell you um, what to do but before we get to that there's one more case that i have to talk about so i'll be right back okay so the next case is when you don't have any headlights so none here because the corners aren't matching and it has to be the corners it can't be the edges it has to be the corners okay so these are not the same um corners so that isn't right those two aren't the same, so those aren't right, and those two aren't, so they aren't. So what you have to do is just choose any random side, so like I'll just do red, and then just repeat the algorithm, R inverted, F, R inverted, B2, R, F inverted, R inverted, B2, and R2. And then you'll get headlights, and like I said before, this does count as headlights because the um, corners are matching. So, uh, it, by the way, it doesn't have to be like on specific like one side. Like even if it's on this side, like that green corner and that green corner are still matching. So it, they're still headlights. And then again, you just do R inverted F, R inverted B two, R F inverted. R inverted, B2, and R2. Now you'll get um, three sets of headlights and one um, solved side. So I'll tell you what to do. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so what to, um, please keep in mind that this isn't like for speed solving. It's just for like people who want to know how to solve it. I will probably make like um, advanced like cross advanced f like f2l tutorials but this is for just beginners so um yeah you're probably gonna have to switch this algorithm later on if you want to start speed cubing but for now this is a, an algorithm that should work for you 
So when you're when you have three headlights, make the um completed side facing that way, just like we did when we had headlights, like only one headlight. And also you'll never have like two headlights just only two headlights. You can either only have one headlight or three headlights. Okay, so now look at the um face that's facing you and the face that's on the left and just if you look you can easily tell that that has to go that way and then now if you keep in mind like going that way so clockwise then you'll know that this this is green that green has to go there that red has to go there and that orange has to go there so to do that you do F2 so and then since you want to make that that right go clockwise you make this you do U clockwise and then you do L L and R prime F2 R and L prime and then before we tried we had to bring it clockwise so you do clockwise again and then F2 but there's one more um, algorithm, it's just basically the same thing, just um, that way and that one goes that way. So I'll be right back to teach you it. And you only have to change two letters, so it's going to be real easy to um, get used to. Okay, so um, I'm back, and in this case, this has to go that way. So if you look, you can just see that that has to go that way, that has to go that way, and that has to go that way. So it's, it's basically counterclockwise now and we do basically the same thing so F2 and then since we wanted to bring it clockwise you do, you do or counterclockwise you do you counterclockwise that's the only thing different and then you bring both down and then you do an F2 again and then L prime R and then again, we wanted to bring it counterclockwise, so you do U prime, which means U counterclockwise. And then you do F2 again, and um, that's how you solve the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. I hope this series made sense to you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.